from the wettest neighborhood in the known universe. Welcome to Smoky Goodness. Uh, let me apologize in uh, advance. I've got a really bad head cold. I've been fighting this thing for about a week, but the show must go on. So I've got a really bad head cold. What am I doing? Grilling out here in a thunderstorm. Today, we're having salad. I'm gonna grill some uh, uh, tangelios, I think they're called. Something like a cross between a, a grapefruit and a tangerine. Oh, did I mention? I'm gonna sear up a big sirloin steak to go with this salad. So, it's gonna be good. Oh, I have a couple of secret weapons too for the steak. This stuff, Sang's stir fry oil. You know it, you love it. And we're gonna get a really good salty crust with this stuff from Nebraska Bison. This is their steak and burger seasoning. Like I mentioned before, this stuff is powerful, really strong, really good be fantastic on that steak so the steak is about a two pound sirloin got the grill dome uh, maxed out as high as it goes I think it's up around 750 degrees we're gonna sear this bad rabbit hard so let's get on with it stick around herb all right first things first with the grill dome or any ceramic cooker when you've got it up this high you've got to burp it otherwise you'll get what they call a flashback you'll singe the hair on your neighbors bald head or something. Anyway, let's get this uh, grill dome set up. We've got the indirect rack, lower rack, sticking that in the bottom in the down position. And because it works so well in concert with this grill dome, there is my Weber Gourmet System Series Sear Grate. Perfect fit. And of course, because I'm a fire bug, oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> We're gonna oil this grate right over this hot fire. Look at this. That was uh, gonna flare up on me. All right, maybe not. That's cool. There it goes. All right. Did you see that lightning? It's still uh, storming off to the west, southwest. Anyway, let's get the lid down. Get that sear grate really good and screaming hot. And we'll move on to the next step or something. We go let's get the steak ready this is about a two pound maybe a two and a half pound sirloin beautiful looking steak I'm gonna make it even more beautiful some sang stir fry oil oh yeah followed by what is going to be our secret weapon for this it's Nebraska bison steak rub oh man what a good thick coat of that You'll see why when the steak is done. Okay, come on to the other side. Repeat the process. The lightning flashes and the thunder crashes. And I'm standing under a, an umbrella with a big tall pole on it. Who cares, huh? We only live once. That's all the prep work there is needed to be done. Let's get this on the grill. Again, burp it. Just gonna lay this bad bunny right there on the grill. Great, and get out of the light and let that sear about two minutes, two and a half minutes, at which time we'll flip it around. Let it sear for another two, two and a half minutes, and then we'll move on. Pretty simple, huh? Smoky Goodness Barbecue is so good that even Mother Nature flashes lightning. She sees a beautiful piece of steak like this. Is this dedication or what? Is this dedication or what? Hey guys, sorry about the uh, weird camera angle here. I had to move the camera under the umbrella. It's starting to rain again. I'm breaking the 180 rule and everything, but it's not gonna stop me. We have seared for uh, probably a good five minutes total. It is at this point. Pull this bad boy off. And I'm gonna have to set this inside the house for just a moment. Pull that off. All right. Indirect rack 
Position it. Normal great. Position it. Lid down. Vent closed. Bottom vent closed. Rain pour. Woo! Hallelujah! The rain has stopped. The grill dome has come down to temperature right where I want it. The sirloin is going over the uh, indirect. I have two, what are these things called? Hmm. I don't know what they're called, but they sure do taste good. These are two peeled uh, miniola. I hope I get this right. Uh, tangerellos, I think they're called. Something like that. I'm gonna warm these up on the grill. They're going on the salad, along with the steak. We're not really grilling these over direct heat or anything like that, because I do have the deflector plate in there, but they're gonna warm them up a little bit. All right. Hey, I'm not done yet. We're gonna have to have a salad with mango. Grilled mango. Oh yeah. I think this is going to be good. All right. Time has come. The steak has been cooked. A little north of uh, where I like it, but that's okay. All right, we're taking the fruit off. When we get the steak inside, we're gonna cut it into thin strips. And uh, we're gonna eat. <laughs> See you soon. See you inside. See you somewhere. Yum. Yum part two. A lot of yum over here. What do you think? Cut it. Very good. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to dig into that. Yep. If you're gonna have a salad, make it interesting, right? Despite all the rain, it's still just a rat in the rain <laughs> or something. <laughs>